This smells really good. Does, doesn't it, after the rain? Yep. Hello, kitty cat. That is my gracious hostess, Emma. <laughs> and that is Aspen, along with Nessie. And there's a little cat here. Hello, little cat. Hello, darling. Hello. Hello, little cat. Oh, lovely you are. Yeah, you're so nice, aren't you, hey? A tree-legged pussy cat. Yeah. Let's have a look. So, <clears throat> this is the morning of the first day in Nova Scotia at the Baird family homestead. And I've just spent a very comfortable night. And it's, although it looks um, overcast and wet, that's a very welcome sight because... Um, it's just broken a drought that has lasted way too long and uh, you can see that the uh, the ground's getting a good drink and there's a cockerel over there heralding the dawn and the garden looks like it's perked up quite a lot from the rain actually <laughs> particularly the sunflowers which were starting to suffer for the drought. So the noise is coming from within the barn. Take a little walk around the garden. And who's this? Hello. Hiya. Hiya. Hey, yeah, uh, what you doing? What you doing? Good boy. A uh, good boy. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's good boy. Yeah, you know me, don't you? Hey, come to say hello. <laughs> You're in a bit of company, don't you? Hey, is that it? Let's have a look at the pumpkin patch, shall we? Let's have a look at the pumpkin patch. That's nice, coming on nicely. There's some corn shooting up over there. Some flowers we've already mentioned. And over in that corner, you can just make out the beehives. They're probably enjoying a bit of the, the moisture that's coming from this rain. And other members of the uh, bed household are this, this mallard and his ladies. There's a constant hum in the background from the um, crickets and uh, cicadas. Ah, yeah. Ah yeah, ah yeah. That's good boy, I know. Good boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good boy, yeah, I know. Bit highly strung, you aren't you? He is. Yeah, I know. You like company, don't you? Yeah, you do. Those of you who know me know that I live in a small house in North Wales with my brother. So the light and space of this lovely homestead are really excellent, really lovely and nice to behold. Fabulous. And on that note, I'll cut you loose for now. So we've been we've been foraging for nodding sedge. Nodding sedge, 
and um, this is just the collection phase. We um, we were picking it principally when it's that colour. Um, there were like paler ones on the plant, but we were picking just the ones with this colour. And it's over quite a few weeks that you do it because it ripens at different stages. Right. Um, and then you just you roast it in a pan yeah. until it turns brown and it pops like popcorn. Wow. And then you just let it cool down and then whiz it up in a baby bullet we use. So yeah. apart from the fact we've provided a mobile banquet for the local mosquitoes, oh, yeah, um, <laughs> we do have uh, quite a substantial amount of nutrition in that pot for, for the amount of effort we've put into yeah, it really, don't we? Really that much, and it wasn't, it? no, 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 it wasn't. Um, so uh, onwards and upwards, I guess. Yeah, this is all your land and it's quite sizable, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And the girls are loving it. What better way for a child to grow up, eh? Good. Good. That's lovely. No, I think it was a good, good little forage that was. And there's still a nice walk home. Yep. Perfect. We'll walk up Caddy Cove. <laughs> Is that Caddy Cove Road? Caddy Cove. Caddy Cove Road. Caddy Cove Road. And you can hear the cicadas. You can. They, they'll be ever present in the background at this time of year, won't they? Yeah. Yeah. Nice to hear them. It is. Yeah. It's rather exotic sound to. Uh, yeah, English so people, isn't it? Zealand, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot more than this. They were kind of, you see them all over the It's not an unpleasant sound, though, is it? I no, mean, it's not some, it's some animals just make Sometimes awful sounds. Crickets but crickets are a bit annoying. Yes. But, yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful trail. There's a, as you can see, there's a lovely sunshine. Dancing through the trees. Through the trees. Yeah. It's a bit humid, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. And the girls have got their teddies. Oh. They got their teddies with them. <laughs> Aspen's got Nessie. Yeah. And Maya has got, what's his, Budgie, Billy Budgie. Budgie Billy. Budgie Billy. There you go. And when you get up here, you'll have to do a thing about the sweet fern. Oh, yeah. All right. Show us when we get there. So, this is sweet fern. And it's an edible fern. In the spring, it has um, catkins on it. So yeah. You harvest, you dry them. and. It's not a true them. fern, though, is it? No. It's just a deciduous plant with... Yeah. And the leaves are used as well. Fern-shaped leaves. Meat. Oh, right. Um, it's really nice on DME. So I might have eaten this already, right? <laughs> yeah. And it's good. As an insect repellent. As an insect repellent. Just and it's... it on your arms. To show them there's no smell of vision Because it really does smell really, really good. And for deer flies, sometimes you can put it in your hat. And it keeps them away. And it keeps them away because they go for higher points. Yes. So if you have that, it goes for a higher point. Oh, excellent. And the bunch berry plants are just in here, actually. Shall we get close? These. And about three or four weeks ago, these had a big bunch of red berries. Oh. Um, and they're like a trail side nibble. You can put them in pies. I um, see there's some immature ones under there, perhaps, yeah. that have been caught in the and shade. Actually, there's something else here, too. Yeah. This is wintergreen, isn't it, Aspen? And this is a flavouring in bubblegum, a natural bubblegum. Right. Yeah, have a try some. You make tea out of it. And oh yeah, it's that familiar so you, smell. You, you thigh more like yeah. Suppose. Oh, that's it. it. Wow. It smells very strong. Doesn't it? Yeah, it's definitely like the euthymol toothpaste. And it's nice to just chew. Is it? Mm, just chew it. It's very similar. Just Is a... it possible to chew wintergreen? And then you have to... and just for the narrate at the same time. We shall see. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there's a couple of things right under your feet all night, mm. really. Wild edibles. Mm -hmm. And there's blueberries at the moment, but they're all finished now too. Right. Are they, are they big fat blueberries or more like bilberries? 
The big fat blue berries. Big fat blue berries. Here, yeah. mm. They do nothing by half in North America, do they? They do well. <laughs> You can get some really big ones actually, and you can get some little teeny ones that are really good, you see. Right. Okay, but yeah, this year's been really good for the blueberries. But I love this. Love this. Yeah, I like and it. There's actually, we'll go to Maliga Lake, and there's this, well, it's not similar, but it's called Sweet Gale. Sweet and Gale. Where's this to? That's at the lake, which we'll go to. Oh, that's something to look forward to then, boys and, and girls. Um, it's a little bit different to this. Mm. But it has nutlets on it as well that you can use. Yeah. And again, that's nice flavouring for, um, you know, stews or soups. Right. And fish. You find a lot of things that are grow in the wild near a lake, for example, will be good for fish. Quite. And things that grow, say, here. Yeah. It's good for the wild game. Like what goes, grow grows together, goes together. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same principle with wild food. Yeah, it's, it's, it, some think it's mm -hmm. a cliche, but it's actually a yeah. real reality, isn't it? it? Is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You go first, Mama. Right, Emma's just made a new find. So, well, I knew they were here, but I didn't realise they were ready. So oh, right, they and they're plantain. all good. Yeah, the plantain seeds. Well, that's actually Aspen's just stripped them. Yeah. So these are huge compared to what we have at home. And you can just they see are them big, there. yeah. They're, they're, they're so small in the UK. Even bushcrafters sell them. I think yeah. she's pretty much got them all, actually. Yeah. But you can These see are... the size of that. That's yeah. huge. That'd have loads of seeds on it. Yeah. That's been spotted them. Good girl. And this is um, common plantain, isn't yeah, it? Common it's plantain. It's not like yeah. the don't not to be confused with the platano, the but the banana plantain. Oh, you got some too. Maya got some too. Well, that was good. That was a little bit of Brucey like bonus, wasn't it? Well. Yeah. Yeah. Emma, tell us a bit about this remarkable tree. And yes, boys and girls, that is gold. Yeah, it's a really nice colour, isn't it? Yeah, it's not a so trick of the camera. Birch, you can use the bark to start fires. Yes. So this one's particularly good because it comes off in... Looks like gold leaf. Let's get in a bit closer to that, boys and girls, and uh, let's uh, let me get a bit braver and descend into the depths. <laughs> Just don't. Uh, this stuff it breaks apart, so getting a fire going, even when it's damp. Yes. It's really, really good. tinder, good. yeah. Yeah, it's fantastic. Does it have a resinous compound in it, and does it yes. make it? Yes. Yeah, it just goes up like. Yeah. Um, and actually, it's one of the best ones to tap. So there the, you are. Um, uh, yeah. What's that, gold love, birch, did yeah, you say? And I love, look at the roots. Oh, wow. The roots on it are amazing. Yeah, they look like they've been turned. Don't they? <laughs> I love the roots on them. That is remarkable. But yeah, if you, you know, when we were doing the maple syrup making, we came out specifically and walked down. And I've, I've not seen over, this at all in yeah, in Europe, ever. Not over harvest. It is, it is, it's like a... From a, not not too far a distance, it looks like a column of pure gold. It's it does. absolutely it's beautiful. Yeah. And the root there you go. Give you one last look because that is okay. quite a stunning tree. It's cool, isn't it? I've seen underneath that. It's, it's got that. a twig growing through it. Oh wow! <laughs> it's grown itself around a tree. Yeah. That's lovely. Yeah. Not an edible one. It's a polypore, no, isn't it? One of the yeah, bit woody. A lot of brambles coming up to ripeness. Oh, there's some that's already ripe there at the bottom. Let's have a look at those. I think they're going to get collected myself. A what? Yeah, I just I don't want to fall down the bank. You just take care. Just take care. I'm not saying there is a wasp there. Go away, wasp. You're not using them. Go away. Um, yeah, and there's a wasp for the minute, sweetie. I don't want to. Oh, you're bloody. You're not going to leave him alone, are you? No, he's not. He's on him. Oh, that me one be. Okay, I guess it's one be. What's that thing? This is ninja bramble collecting. <laughs> I know. There, it's, it's under the leaf right below your hand. Yeah, I can see it. If you want to hold something, hold that. Well, just put that on there. Yeah. 
This is Stealth Ninja. Ninja Brambling. Let's have a look at those. Um, that's what they look like. Little brambles. This little wild brambles. Lovely, very nice. We'll have nice. to give them a wash though. Yeah, they've yeah, got to be washed. Know. Well, you need to wash these, darling, because they're near the road. You can, but we need to go home first. Oh, dear, someone's not happy. Sounds like a chipmunk, doesn't it? The little birds up there. Oh, is it little birds? You can hold them, yeah. Don't pop them. I, I do, but I can't remember. No, we can look him up. Maybe someone who recognises it can write it in the comments below. But they're not good if you touch them. They're not good at all. They're not for touching. No. You get a bad rash if you touch those guys. Mm -hmm. The faces were a study of concentration right there. <laughs> That's lovely. That's what it's all about, boys and girls. So, we're almost back at the homestead. Well, we're actually on the homestead all the time, but... <laughs> <laughs> it just didn't appear to be. Yeah. Um, well, there's a load of blackberries, but I think the turkeys have eaten them all. Oh, the turkeys have been out and eaten. wild. Yeah. They're much smaller, the smaller varieties. Yeah, turkeys will... Uh, well, that'll give the meat some nice flavour, won't it? We hope. So you can eat that one. There you go. No. no Nicer. Huh? What, few, what berry is it? Blackberry. Like it's a, a wild blackberry, but it's a smaller version. A tiny... Yeah, it's like a creeping blackberry, because if you wow. see, it like covers everywhere like a carpet. Yeah. But, oh, like, like these little toes here? Yeah, that's them. Aren't they lovely? Oh, if you look closely, yeah. There's one or two black ones in There's there. There's one, see? There's yeah. a nice one there, actually. You don't get that. Oh, I see that. That's real nice. That's the difference between a... There you go. Thank you. Okay, it's a ducky mass. Mm. It's really lovely. It's the maple trees, two of the big maples that we tap. Your sugar maple. maples, yeah? Yep, sugar maple. Most of the maples around this area are sugar maples and they're the best. They have the highest sugar content. Magnificent besom tree, love that. Your return is being heralded by the cockerel. <laughs> I, I was annoyed when I first got here, boys and girls, because I noticed the scarecrow was actually dressed better than I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aspen's away off, look. Yep. That's a turkey over there. The turkey's in the field right over there. There's a big one adjacent to the beehive, look yeah. at him. Wow. That's a big tom, although he's lost a lot of his feathers because he's more. Now look at the um, dragonfly in the garden there. Oh yeah, don't know if you catch that boys and girls. Dragonfly. He's eat oh, there's a few, there's more. Oh. Some of these squashes are nearly ready as well, often. I love dragonflies and damsels. They're and lovely creatures. One day by day, flies in the garden, and they, they were coming in and taking the deer flies away from them. Yeah, they, these will. These will yes. keep the, the mosquitoes off us now, yeah. That turkey's gorgeous, isn't he? He's a great pig. Yeah, he's growing as There's a horse fly on me just then. Just had a horse fly on me. Nasty creatures, aren't they? Secret is not to let them bury their heads in you. <laughs> they do. She was cleaning. Home again, home again. Jiggity jig. <laughs> so, what's this there now? What so, we... this is what we just gathered the nodding sand. Yeah. Um, and what I like to do is I just 
we bring it home and put it on a tray. Yeah. And the, really the main reason why we do that is so all the little bugs can Let's have a look. get out so you can see all the little Yeah. Little so they end critters. up just crawling the way out of it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you so see you can see them all crawling away. Because you obviously don't want to roast that. So you just leave it for a couple of days. Let everybody get out of there. And then you, well, we'll show you at different time. You just put them in a frying pan and brown them and they pop like popcorn. Oh. And actually you can get little teeny baby popcorns from them. Can't you? And they do taste and smell a little bit like popcorn. So we'll just leave that now for about two days. Yeah. And then we'll do that next process with them. Lovely. And the plantain seeds, these are the ones from... So we put them through a sieve. Yeah. Just to get all of... We follow the same principle with this, do we? just put it on a tray for a few days, and you, just let all the critters come And you mix this in with your flour, don't you? Yeah. And, 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 you... and cookies, yeah. bread. Um, do you mill it before you put it in the flour or just no you, you just, just put it add in it to it add the little seeds even your pancake there was flour pancakes and pancakes this yeah. morning that we did I thought they were nice there yeah it's lovely there. add a little corner so you just sieve all the seeds through the chaff yeah and then you just go outside and you blow oh to winnow it yeah to winnow it yeah gotcha to get all the chaff like off that, yeah to get all the chaff off it yeah. doesn't matter if there's still a little bit in there. No, no. It's not going to do you any harm. There's no nutrition in it, but it's not going to do you any harm. Now you're just left with the seeds. Yeah. It takes a lot to get a lot, but, you know, it's easy enough. Do you roast them? Um... You can roast them. I don't. Yeah. You can roast them. You can roast most seeds. Yeah. Um, and then with this stuff, you either just, you know, throw it in your compost or just go and throw it outside. Yeah, quite. Just over the grass or whatever. And that's it, really. That's how it's, it's quite done. Easy and Lovely. And this this loaf is one your daughter baked. Do you yeah, think Laura earlier on? Laura yeah, made that. It's that lovely. It's Clever like girl. It's been at the crust. Yeah. Doesn't well. Last long. Cook's privilege, <laughs> innit? Doesn't last long at all. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for that, Em. No worries. Right, so Emma, what have we got here? Something very delicious indeed. We have a mixture of veg. So we have cabbage, carrots, pepper, peppers, yeah, um, tomatoes. Zucchini, I see, tomatoes, yeah, tomatoes, zucchini in there as well. Yeah, the zucchini in I there see there some well. onion, rosemary, rosemary, thyme. Wonderful. Uh, what else was in there, Aspen? Onion. Yeah, onion. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. We got that. And some green leaves. What's that? Sage. Oh, and sage. Though. Sage. So Lovely. Sage will go great with those sausages. That'll be absolutely perfect. Oh, hang egg. on. I'm not. Am I recording? Yeah. I am. And then we'll just open this super quick. And, some and there's some potatoes in there, potatoes. roasting with garlic and what herbs? Mint and rosemary. Oh, look at them. And they're from the garden. That's good. All from the garden. Awesome. And to go on top of these. Uh, for this roast, this keto roast, effectively, mm -hmm. is we break with the keto because there's a bit of flour dusting on these. Yeah, we're not going to do any harm that. It's not going to do any harm. There's a bit of flour on there. Um, what are the herbs on there? You said yarrow. Yarrow. Yeah. And sorrel seeds. And sorrel. And um, smoked paprika, salt and pepper, and was it one clove of garlic? No, three. Three cloves <laughs> yeah. of garlic. Yeah. For the garlic lovers. For the, yeah, which includes me and me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and as Pete said, a dust and a flour. And a dust and a flour, you know, just to crisp it up yeah, nice. Just to crisp it up. And uh, we're going to bake that for around about an hour, aren't we? Yeah. In the oven. Or until what, it's what, done. what temp? Well, it's on 375. Yeah, about an hour yeah. should be just about yeah, right about for that amount, hour. shouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. okay. So uh, we'll get back to you, boys and girls, when, when we're ready to serve that up. Yeah. Oh, you dare, don't you? Let me smell them. So here we are. This is dinner. The dinner table is set. We've got some beautiful roast potatoes with garlic and herbs, um, some um, roasted chicken and with some local sausages, these little pork sausages here, and the beautiful like vegetables, which for the large part of the time, they were like roasting under the chicken and the sausages. There we go, and Maya is about to taste her chicken. Which she is, chicken leg, chicken wing. And we're just going to get stuck in, so please forgive us.
If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.